Slowly, slowly they shout. Carefully cries another rescuer. Give way, give way. And finally, she emerges. This picture was taken by a doctor seconds after she emerged into the sunlight. For almost 48 hours, Suthi Suri lay, trapped in the rubble that was once her classroom. Around her, the dead bodies of her students were decomposing in the Indonesian heat. At last, rescuers made the crucial breakthrough and cut Suti free from her concrete tomb and sped the university lecturer away to the nearest hospital with electricity. The STBA Priago University used to echo with the sounds of student laughter. Now the foreign language school has become a mass grave. 18 students were inside the building when the quake struck. One of them is Fina's 20-year-old sister. Until now, she is not at home. And then when I come here, I see her name in the list, Crescencia Manduro. At the time, I know that she has a class. Then I think she is here. There are no people there is alive because no people there. No people is alive there, except my, my, except also my, my sister. Fina knows that her sister is probably dead, but she clings to the hope that Suthi's rescue will not be the last from Priago University. Her friend Trisnia has given up hope of finding her boyfriend alive. She was shown a picture taken by a soldier on his camera of a body trapped in the rubble. She believes it is her boyfriend. And like her, other family members prepare long vigils. They need to know for certain. Yang mana? Orang -orang ini. Yang semua ini. Junaidi has been leading the rescue effort for two days. He shows me his diagram. It's a plan to cut deep into the rubble where Suthi was trapped. He also has a list of names, the 18 people who were inside. Trishnia's boyfriend is on that list. And so too is Fima's sister, Crescentia. Just 18 names scribbled on a page. They're meaningless to everyone else except for the loved ones and the families who are trying to find out what happened to their sons and daughters trapped inside this university when the earthquake struck. Soon they'll become just numbers, statistics, in the last Indonesian earthquake. These are the numbers that keep multiplying into a nameless mass. But at least, Suthi Suri's name can be taken off that list now. Ashish Joshi, Sky News, Padang.